Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at master timeline workflows. So first of all, it's very important to understand the concept of versions inside of DaVinci Resolve. There are two different types of grades that you could have on a clip. It could be a local grade or a remote grade. With local versions, each timeline will treat each clip like a unique event. So that means that if I was to cut up this long clip at the start, and then move its bottom half to the end of the timeline and then go into my color page and start applying some sort of color effect to it, it would only affect that clip. It's not affecting the second half of this clip that's at the end of the timeline, even though they share the exact same source video file. Additionally, if I was to go into my timelines and make a copy of this timeline, if I was to then go into the color page and change the color grade of this clip. So let's say I'm going to go for a warmer look. If I go back to my first timeline, I'll find that the original clip has stayed exactly the same. So that's what local versions mean. It's that every clip is individual on every version of the timeline and in every instance of the source material being used. Remote versions mean that all the clips that come from the same source across all timelines will share the same exact grade. So let's take a look at what that looks like. What I'm going to do is select all the clips inside of this edit and indicate that I want them to be used as remote grades instead of local. If I was now to go into the first clip and start making some dramatic changes, if I was to jump to the end of the timeline, you'll notice that this exact same grade has already been applied to the tail end of the timeline. But what if I had different versions of this film? What if I was submitting a 10-minute version of it to a festival and then submitting a 15-minute version to upload online? I could then duplicate those timelines and continue working on my edits. So then when I go to the color page for this copy that I've just made of my timeline, and while I'm working on it, I realize there's something about it that I don't really like. So now I've decided to go for a completely different vintage style look. Just like previously, I demonstrated the remote version will pick up that exact grade all the way across. Now if I go to my original timeline, the one that I created first, you'll see that it no longer has that blue look that I gave it. So that's when it's really, really useful, when you have different versions of an edit and you want it to look the same all the way across. Alright, wow, so that was a lot of information, and this isn't even the video on versions. There will be a separate one for that. The reason why I had to describe all of this is because now I can talk in more detail about what the master timeline is. Originally, DaVinci Resolve, by default, always generated a master timeline for you. This timeline would contain all of the clips that you had imported into the media pool. And by default, all these clips had remote versions applied to them. That means that as soon as you imported your clips into your media pool, you could immediately start grading them, start applying color corrections, cleaning up the colors, doing basic DIT stuff. So in order to work with master timelines, the very first thing to remember is that you have to start preparing for them before you import anything into the media pool. So I'm going to begin by creating a new project. Secondly, I want to make sure I open up my project settings, color menu, and activate automatically match master timeline with media pool. I think I'll just drop in a handful of clips and you'll notice that I've immediately generated a master timeline that is not susceptible to editing. So if I zoom in right now you can see the clips are all kind of obscured by this gray line. I can now add more clips and if I go back to the timeline you'll see that all of these clips have now appended themselves to the end. Generally, the clips will lay themselves out in the order that they were recorded. This makes it particularly convenient for grading dailies. If I was to apply grades inside of my master timeline, then when I start compiling a creative edit inside of a new timeline on the edit page, all of these grades will come across with the clips. This will give me a nice head start on the grade. I can then choose to switch over to local versions and continue grading the project without affecting the original clips in the master timeline. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.